Hello and welcome to my channel where I'm about to do a review on SP510 drone. This drone does not come with the case, but the packaging that they, you buy it in is pretty sturdy. So that's what I'll be using to carry it around since it has a handle on it as well. I did open this drone up earlier so that way I could charge the battery. So all the parts aren't in here, but the parts that it did come with was inside this box. And that was the charging cable, the spare blades, and also a screwdriver. This is the battery that comes with it. Um, it does have four LEDs on it that lights up when you're charging it and also lets you know the I guess battery life of it. Then the drone, it is pretty light. <clears throat> it does have a camera on it and the camera does move zero to 90 degrees and controlled by the remote control. It is a fold-up drone. The blades has to come out in a certain sequence and this drone did not come with guards to protect it so you just have to be careful when flying it. It does have a memory card in it. I did put one in there so that way it looks like it'll be able to record images on the drone and hopefully to also record images on the phone as well. So drone does open up pretty easy. I'll go ahead and finish opening it up and then I'll go ahead and put the battery in it. And the battery does go in pretty easy and it's still pretty lightweight. The remote also is pretty light. Um, it does plug up so you can recharge it. And it has four LED indicators. The holder on it holds my iPhone 7 Plus. I have to take it out of the case for it to fit in it. And there's the controls for speed and the camera. Last week's video was supposed to be fall and winter when the snow is on the ground, but due to the drone issues, I wasn't able to do that one. Um, I did take the drone apart, figured out what was wrong, ordered the part for it, so I'll see if I can replace it myself. And if I can't, then that drone will probably perform similar to how this drone performs. <clears throat> Since what's wrong with that drone is that the gimbal is stuck on it. And this drone doesn't have a gimbal at all. So basically these two drones will act the same. Uh, well, this one does have the camera that's still controlled, whereas that one I can't anymore. But we'll see what happens. Some of the other features on this drone is that it has headless mode of operation which means regardless of what direction the drone is facing, if you want it to go away from you, all the controls still act the same. So if you press forward, it'll still go in that direction. And then it has Addy mode, which is basically operating without the GPS. Return home. If the drone loses a signal or if the battery goes low, it'll try to return back to whatever you set as the return point. Hopefully you remember to do that before you take off, else it may fly away from you. It has one key takeoff and land. And then also has gesture mode, which I probably won't test out that feature. And then it has follow me mode, points of interest, and waypoints. Waypoints is basically you're setting up the path you want it to fly, and follow me means it'll follow you. All right, time to go outside. All right, so there is some setup you have to do before you can start flying the drone, but the manual is pretty straightforward on what to do to get started. And the one button takeoff did work pretty smooth. It flew about three feet off the ground and then hovered there before I started actually flying and recording. <clears throat> so that part did work smooth. Um, I did just play around some flying it see how it works which you can see me doing right now and the image being unstable that's because of no gimbal in it so that's why it's moving around a lot um, the follow me mode and point of interest waypoint I couldn't get those to work so actually I did get follow me to work I just didn't record it but points of interest and waypoints it didn't work I guess I have to look in the manual to see what's the direction says on how to use those two features but the headless mode, which the button for that one is on the controller, that one did work. I just have to have the drone align in the direction you want to be considered forward, and it works fine. And then the return to home and landing, those two worked without a problem. So um, I'm not going to land and try to figure it out right now because uh, temperature is dropping. As you can see, I am flying over a lake, and actually part of this lake is still frozen enough to walk on. So, the uh, temperature isn't that warm right now. 
but I did still figure it was warm enough for me to get out and fly. It's probably about 35 right now, 36 degrees, so it's not terrible, but just having to stand out here to do the setup and then playing around, and then there's parts where I wasn't recording at all because I did test out taking pictures. I did try get gesture mode, but I think it's too dark, so that way it's not picking up. But everything else seemed to be working pretty smooth. The range of it, couldn't figure that out because the GPS is saying I'm going out of range even though I'm in, I'm not in beginner's mode. But it's not flying far in, away from me. So I got to figure that part out too. But that's the video.